Employers with good mental well-being practices at the workplace will soon be recognised with a national level award. Senior Minister of State for Manpower Zaki Mohammed announced this during the launch of a new campaign to improve workplace mental health. Companies can apply for the award next January. The campaign's webpage lists useful resources to implement mental wellness. Tools like I Work Health and a new guidebook aim to advise employees how to start conversations with staff. Mr. Zaki says that the Total Workplace Safety and Health Program offers free talks on mental well-being. It was also simplified to quicken the onboarding process. This campaign is dedicated to all of us who ever felt anxious, a bit tighter in the chest, or have had trouble sleeping when thinking about work. It tells us that we can make work a source of mental well-being and that help is out there. So take time to take care and reach out to the resources available to allow more of us to thrive and flourish at work. All of us can also create a supportive environment by normalizing conversations on mental health concerns, especially at the workplace. You may also need to establish dedicated platforms or HR systems that allow employees to share their problems and challenges without feeling judged or penalized. And this is the kind of outcome we hope to achieve at the workplace, the supportive mental health ecosystem. More than 100 union leaders were trained to spot workplace mental health issues since June this year. At the Ong Teng Cheong Labour Leadership Institute, they learn how to foster healthy mental health conversations among workers. NTUC's Assistant Secretary General Melvin Yong says the Labour Union's lobbying made the new award possible. It hopes to encourage firms to come up with their own wellness initiatives by learning from case studies. Uh, one trained union leader says it's important to look out for one another, especially amid the pandemic. My colleague will have be always happy-go-lucky, but this one day he just keep quiet. So these are the symptoms that we are taught during the course to identify and actually talk to them. Hey, are you okay? Is there anything that matter? For me, I work well in stress, but I strive better in a happy working environment. Actually, it applies to almost everybody. So you need to be inclusive, you need to be harmony, and most important, there's no discrimination in the office.